Hello beautiful people, today we're going to talk about forming healthy habits because for a long time I had the worst habits. I would literally sleep all day long, I would wake up and then doom scroll, I would just like I love to just lay in bed all day. It's not even like I was binging Netflix or anything, I was just laying there depressed. I used to actually think that I had a sleeping disorder because I had no other excuse for my behavior and like I didn't want to say I was depressed because like I was fine I guess but I used to sleep like actually like 11 hours straight in the night and then I would like wake up and do one little task and then I would take a nap that used to happen to me really often and I had no like I kept trying to fix it but I didn't know how to and so then I just thought that I had a sleeping disorder. I almost like went and got drugs for it. But drugs are never the answer, people. It's just a band-aid. Some drugs are the answer. But anyways, habits. So a lot of the information that I've heard on the internet and in books and stuff, like from certain business owners on YouTube or the book Atomic Habits, a lot of it worked for me a lot of it did and i'm gonna tell you what worked in this video but a lot of it didn't stick and i never could figure out why and i'm starting to understand that with my personal schedule like how i set up my day and how i choose to form habits and make them stick the typical more masculine energy stuff never stuck with me no matter how hard i try it never seemed to stick. Like, my favorite YouTuber, I learned so much from him, but he always said, his name is Hamza. Love him. But he always said to create a schedule in your phone and schedule out every single minute of every day and follow that as best as you can every single day and eventually you'll get somewhere, you know? And while that's fucking great advice, I tried so many times. You know how many schedules I made? And every time I'd make the schedule and then I'd completely, like, not even close to, like, the next day. Like, I'd make the schedule, and then the next day I'd wake up and try and follow it, and I'd get, like, two things correct out of, like, 20 things I was supposed to do. or Like, it just didn't work, and then I wouldn't look at it again, and then I try and make a new one and think like, oh, the schedule's wrong, like, the schedule is the problem, I need to reorganize it and fix this, and then it'll be better, and I just kept making schedules and schedules, and it never ever stuck, and I still don't do that because it didn't work for me, and I think it's because that's like such a masculine thing to have such rigid rules, like, you have to do this at this at this time, and that is fucking great if you can follow that. If you can do that, you're, bro, you're going to get so far in life, but I couldn't do it. And so instead of sitting there and being like, making the schedule, next day I didn't follow the schedule and then I would just be sad and be like, wow, I'm a piece of shit. I can't do anything. Well, so instead of doing that, I developed much more of like a flow. So I have all my healthy habits, you can, I write them out still, but when I write them out, I write them in terms of like, I am statements. So you can't see it, but I have this whiteboard right here on my wall that's like this big, and I write out, I am this, like the last one on the list is I am a YouTuber. I have, well actually it's, I write in the third person, I don't know why. Hank has a thousand subscribers on YouTube. So I write things that I am. So like if you just want to be more, if you want to get in the gym, you're going to write, I am an athlete. If you want to eat better food and stop eating out and eat less junk food, you would write, I eat healthy or I take care of my body, stuff like that. And so I know this, that doesn't even sound like, habits but if you just start thinking to yourself an identity instead of the actual behavior if you can convince yourself that you identify as an athlete or you identify as someone who eats healthy 
or you identify as a YouTuber, you identify as whatever it is you want to do. Like, I am someone who drinks a lot of water. I am hydrated. I am flexible. Like, just anything. If you start to change your identity, well, now you're going to have more thoughts produced in your mind throughout the day while you're doing random shit so that whenever you come across a second of free time where your brain goes blank and you're like, what should I be doing right now at this time of the day, you're going to go back to what you trained yourself to think about yourself. You're going to go back to your identity and you're going to think, oh, I need to drink more water right now in this second and I need to film a YouTube video right now, like Serena, Nina, my best friend Nina, who I was just with, we're filming a vlog today, which you can watch, I'll probably post this video and then the vlog, but she was like, we're already filming today, you don't need to film another video, and it's like, well, I'm a YouTuber, I film all the time, if I get a second of free time, which I have right now, I have like 20 minutes of free time right now, I'm going to film because I'm a YouTuber. And if I don't use that 20 minutes of free time that I have, then when the fuck am I going to film? Like, I don't need to plan out five hours a day to film. I can just sit down and talk. Like, our brains really like to overcomplicate things. But anyways, so scheduling things out didn't really work for me. And so instead I chose to change my identity so that whenever I think of something, like, Oh, remember how I was going to meditate every day? I said I was going to do it every day, but I haven't done it in five days. Instead of being like, God, I'm an idiot. Oh, like, oh, I'm so dumb. I, I just remembered that I was supposed to meditate and I haven't done it in five days. I was supposed to do it every day. I told myself I was going to do it every day and now I'm not doing it every day. Ugh, oh, I'm an idiot. Instead of doing that, just the fact that you thought about meditating on this random day, five days later, after you made that goal, the fact that you thought about it is good. So every single time you think about one of your habits, just do the habit then. Instead of like trying to make it every single day I have to follow this exact schedule, because like, for me that just did not work at all. Like, I wake up and I don't feel like doing that at that time, or I wake up late and then I don't have time to do the thing, and then nope, now I can't do it at all. Like. Why does it doesn't have to be at a certain time? Just do it whenever you can. And so, like, for the longest time, like, I can go back in here. I was setting crazy, ridiculous goals for myself. Um, there was one in here I saw yesterday that said, I read a book a week. Bitch, literally, what? Like, you can't go from not reading at all to reading a book a week. Like, maybe you can, and that's great, but, like, I, I couldn't do it. I could not do that. I mean, maybe if I really wanted to, but I don't identify as a bookworm. I don't identify as that. If I wanted to, I should change that, but that's not my priority right now. But anyways, like, I was just writing outrageous shit, and then when that outrageous shit didn't work in my day-to-day -day life because I hadn't changed my identity... I would be upset because I'm like, oh my god, I obviously can't get anything done. I'm never going to be a business owner because I can't even do this simple task that I set for myself to do every day. Like, I can't even do this one daily habit. But So instead of like sticking to that rigid, specific schedule or like those daily goals you set for yourself, just every time you think of the habit, do it then. And so t time after time, you know, if I meditated yesterday, that me meditating yesterday is going to make it more likely for me to think, oh, meditation's good for me today. Because like it's fresh in my mind. I just did it yesterday. So I'm probably the word meditation is probably going to come up in my brain today since I did it yesterday. And so when that word comes up, just do that habit then. And then over time, you'll start to think about it more and more. You'll like take a video of you doing that habit and you'll see it when you look through your camera roll two days later. Then two days later, you do the habit again when you think of it. Like, instead of being so stressed out, just let it come and flow. Like, today, 
me and Nina were driving to the beach and we were like, let's go on a run. Not, I'm going to run two miles every single day, no matter what. Because like, are you going to really? Are you actually going to do that? Probably not. And then you're going to be sad. So it's just don't waste your time. Just if you can get one of these habits where you do it every other day, every three days, every four days, not rigid, but like random, like I started journaling randomly. You gotta kind of let it flow because I feel like that's way more feminine. It's just good to be in your feminine energy if you identify with that. If you feel like a feminine woman, it's better to just go with the feminine flow instead of being like, I have to do it today now. Like, uh, energy. I don't like that energy. So I just go, oh my gosh. I identify as someone who journals. Do I journal every day? No. I don't. Sometimes I don't have anything on my brain. Sometimes I'm busy. But do I do it once a week at least? Yeah. Do I do it every other day? Maybe, yeah. Kinda. Sometimes I go sometimes I go a week and I journal twice a day. Sometimes I go a week and don't journal at all. And that's okay, but as long as I still have this journal out and about, I always keep this journal on my bed. It's always right here. And I always whenever I come up with an idea, I write it down. Whenever I have a to-do list, I write it down. Whenever I just have thoughts, like the thoughts will come and then you journal. But if you have no thoughts, trying to force yourself to journal just seems kind of weird. I don't know. If you can do these things every day, that's great. But my last tip for you is to fill your reality, the things that you see every day. So you're in your room every day. You're on your bed every day. So like I just said, I keep the journal on the bed every day. I try to bring it with me. I have numerous journals. So I have this one that I just keep on my bed. Look at her spiral so it opens and stays flat. I have this journal and then I also have a mini journal that I keep in my purse. So I always have a journal. It's not like, oh, if I bring this journal to the gym with me and then I leave it in my bag because I just set my bag down when I get home. Well, now the journal's out of sight and I'm not going to remember to get the journal out every day and put it back on my bed. I'm just not going to remember to do that. I'm not going to. Stupid. That's like, I know it's stupid, it doesn't seem like a lot of work, but you're not going to do it either. So, two journals. Just solve the problem and keep the thing that you want to do in sight. Like, you're going to see it every day and that will make you way more likely to do it. I did learn that in Atomic Habits and that is fucking real. Like, find a way to keep whatever it is you want to do. Like, keep something to remind you to do it every day. Like, if you want to meditate more, get a meditation pillow or, like, set up a whole corner or a whole room if you have one, which I don't have that, but I have a lot of space. Set up a whole, like, area where you pass by every day and you see, oh, that is my meditation area. That is where I meditate and I just saw it. Maybe I should sit down and meditate for, like, five minutes. Like, Putting things in your view, like if you want to, the example in Atomic Habits, I think is like someone who wants to be a guitar player. If you want to be a guitar player, don't put your guitar in the case, in the closet, behind some fan or some shit, because now you're going to create more resistance to getting the guitar out of the closet. Like just that one task, getting the guitar out of the closet is going to divert your attention to something else like you're just not gonna do it you need to keep the guitar out like out to where you have to walk past it like where you have to literally move it to get to do the bad habit like if you watch a lot of tv if you watch too much netflix that's your problem you don't want to watch netflix anymore delete your netflix account if you like literally get rid of your TV. <laughs> like, I don't have a TV. I never watch TV. Like, I mean, if you really enjoy TV, whatever. That's fine. But if you're like, I don't need to watch TV anymore. I just need to work on my business and work on these passions that I have because if I watch TV even, even like an hour a week, 
that's I'd rather be working on my business get rid of your whole entire TV get rid of your whole Netflix Hulu all that shit like if you have a bad habit you want to quit get rid like make it so you don't have any way of doing the bad habit like that's the easiest way to do it I if you literally can't do the bad habit you're not gonna do it all right I think that's all the advice I have for today I'm gonna finish this vlog just make it work with the flow and with the vibes and what do what feels good for you and the habits are gonna come yeah I don't really have many daily habits besides vitamins and the gym because those are so easy like the gym is something you should do every single day that's a whole mission you gotta drive over there like that's a whole process but it feels good and forming habits is fun change your identity put things out to remind you you could literally even put like pictures on your walls or um, I have this daily habit tracker that I never actually do but I'm sure you could make a way easier one if you put like three to five habits on your wall and check them off every day that's fucking great if you can get that if you can get that going that'd be so good for you but just don't make them outrageous things like I read one book a week unless you already are close to reading one book a week then maybe but like I don't read a book a week at all I read like two to five books a year like, if there's no way I'm going to read one book every week, it's just not going to happen. God. That was me, like, just six months ago. See, I made so much progress. The fact that I know now not to make ridiculous goals like that. Like, what the fuck? That's just dumb. Let me see if I can find another one. But, yeah, I used to write affirmations like this. Like, I would just fill the entire page I always act from abundance. I am so happy and grateful for my fat ass. I literally wrote that. My ass is fat now. It worked. Don't make unrealistic goals when it comes to daily habits. Unrealistic goals when it comes to like, I want to do this a while from now. Those work. But I read one book a day, it's just ridiculous, like that's a... No, it's not gonna happen. Anyways, go with the flow. I love you guys.